and oh my god guys just look at it i can't believe i would personally be running these five games upon my android device which has 6 gb ram and a media tech processor and not only that these games would be running upon skyline edge emulator before moving any further, I would like to clarify that there are two categories of game in our list. The first category is consisting of low-end games, the games which are easily playable upon any kind of low-end hardware. And the second category is about some heavy games that are harder to run and especially upon a MediaTek device and we'll be seeing that. So let's get started. Alright guys, this is my Android screen and if I just go ahead and scroll down, so as you can see, this is the Skyline Azure Emulator app. I'll just open it. These are my settings that I will be using uh, for this video. I have uh, tried my best to uh, get out the best settings. By the way, I'll be turning off uh, docked mode. And these are my settings. Alright, after uh, giving you a quick uh, view of my settings. These are the 5 games that I'll be testing. The first is Beach Buggy 2. Alright, so I'll just click upon it and hit play. But by the way, my device is having a Mali GPU as you might have probably guessed from the processor that is MediaTek and as you can see we are receiving a really nice amount of FPS and that is approximately 60 alright so now the game has started and we are in the menu the menu is offering uh, around 30 to 20 FPS which is really nice so the game has just started and this is the real test here and it is really nice to see I'm really surprised to see that even on a MediaTek device the Skyline Edge a version is performing really great I mean just look at it guys you are getting approximately 60 FPS although there are some uh, FPS drops uh, nearly about 5-7 FPS there can be a significant drop in them but anyways the Skyline Edge emulator uh, version is really great if you are upon a, a low end processor a device like mine which is only if you are on a device that has a, a MediaTek processor or Ex Exynos processor rather than having a Snapdragon processor which are uh, not good for emulation then Skyline Edge emulator is must the Skyline normal version isn't you know that great for this kind of processor the only suggestion I can give to you is just use the Edge version that is the best payout even I was struggling in the beginning but then I used this version and it and it just changed everything guys just look at the experience alright so this was the test for this game and now I'll just choose the second game which is which is the reason why you guys were waiting for so long and that is yes guys you guessed it correct Pokemon let's go Pikachu we'll be seeing if this emulator can even boot it up on my device like I used the Skyline version which didn't boot it up but the Skyline Edge version made booted and yes guys so i just skipped the prologue section and now i we will directly jump upon the game as you can see uh, currently uh, before starting of the game we are receiving approximately 17 to 20 amount of fps which is fairly nice but all right there's a white screen yeah the game has started and oh my god guys just look at it i can't believe it we are receiving 30 fps constant 30 fps in a cut scene on a media tech mine is Diamond City 810 which isn't even you know by the way I apologize because my finger just hit the FPS counter and if you can see guys approximately we are getting around 30 to 35 FPS uh, in some cases the FPS even hits up to 40 which is really great I am really amazed to see and I apologize for the messed up text that you are seeing up on the screen I don't know what was the issue for it but anyways it can be fixed really later the FPS is really great here. This is the in-house FPS. The final test will be the outside FPS and I think that it is probably going to decrease a lot uh, since it is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Right. Oh my god guys, we are receiving 45 FPS. My god. Alright, so I just so I will just now go outside the house. And as you can see, just as expected, the FPS dropped by a lot. But still, hey guys, it is too great to uh, play this game on the Edge version in, in, in a device like this. I wasn't expecting even to uh, put this game upon this device. But still, this game is already over my expectations, which is really great. And as you can see, the game, uh, gameplay is uh, really smooth, really. There isn't any kind of uh, problem while playing the game. The FPS counter is like 20 to 25 FPS, really great. I'm thankful for the Edge version. 
Purchasing the Edge version is highly recommended in my opinion since it is the best way to support the developers of this game. Alright, so I'll just give you a quick uh, gameplay a show of which will exactly tell how much FPS can we get during battles. So yeah, this is the test like I'm going to capture the Pikachu and as you can see here, we are uh, getting a even more FPS and it is like 30 FPS approximately. This was the test for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu which is really nice. I mean I'm, I'm amazed to see these details. And it is really great and it is highly recommended. Alright so the next game that I'm going to test is Super Mario Odyssey. Now this game uh, I guess is a little bit more heavier than all the previous game that we just uh, checked. Anyways the game just loaded and the FPS counter did show around 40 to 50 FPS and on this side screen we are unable to see the FPS counter properly. I'm really sorry for that. Okay so the FPS in the, in the menu it is around 40 to 55 which is really good that means I guess we can at least expect 10 to 15 FPS during the gameplay. Uh, anyways we'll just see it now I'll just click upon resume. And as you can see, there's a significant FPS drop just as expected, and it is around 10 to 15 FPS. The gameplay started, and I don't know if this is a glitch or a bug, but I don't think this is the actual gameplay. And the FPS is around 10 to 15, which is nice, but I don't think this the game just loaded completely. I waited for two to four minutes, but but uh, nothing changed. So maybe checking Super Mario Odyssey was a failure. Anyways, let's just uh, check our final game, and that is. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered Version. This game is really going to blow your mind guys. If it works then this means that the Edge version is just lit in my opinion. Just oh, amazing deal. This game really has hardcore graphics to get to be handled by an emulator like this and even on a MediaTek device. Running this type of game on a MediaTek device is really great. The FPS uh, during the uh, game load is around 26 to 25. And I can see that the game is glitching a lot for some reason I don't know what is happening here. Maybe the game just won't be that good as we expect it to be. Now judging from the uh, loading glitches I don't think so the game is going to be a really uh, nice experience for you guys. Anyways let's just select our car and continue and go ahead and see. Alright, the game just started and here is a short cutscene. During cutscene, we are getting approximately 10 to 15 FPS or maybe 9. Oh my god, the game has started and we are receiving all 10 FPS, which is really nice. Like, just look at the graphics of this game and the amount of load that this is giving upon your device despite having a MediaTek processor. I would seriously recommend to test it out upon the Edge version, which is a really nice way to support the developers. Anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and this video helped you a lot so just subscribe my channel and like this video and don't forget to hit the bell icon pressing that bell icon is really necessary pressing that bell icon is the most important part so that's all i wanted to show you in this video and thanks guys